Okay. Hello, my Thinkation family. My name is Eunice, and I welcome you especially to the memorial edition of Thinkation, Thinkation 2021. Our general theme, as you all know, is Dare to Fly. So I'm coming with some mixed news for you, some good news and some bad news. Bad news in the sense that I planned a pity party for you, but I've cancelled the party. So that to me is bad news. But good news is that the pity party will do you no good. So what I'm about to do to you is what you really need. Are you up for the ride, guys? So let's go. Dare to fly. Look at the slide on the screen and uh, listen to me read. Lift up your heads and look at the image of a man who rose from nothing, who owed nothing to parentage or patronage, who enjoyed no advantages of early education, which are not open, a hundredfold open, to yourselves, who performed the most menial services in the businesses in which his early life was employed, but who lived to stand before kings and died to leave a name which the world will never forget. That was at the inauguration of um, Benjamin Franklin's statue in New York. That statement was made by the orator of that day, Robert Winthrop. Well, that was what he said, but that is not what he should have said. He should have included there that even though he suffered all those fates, he actually leveraged opportunities. He grew from attempting to do one or two things and learned from his failures. He dared to do what his mates could not do at the time. So guys, there are a few reasons why you haven't dared to fly and I want to challenge you to prove me wrong if I'm wrong in any sense. You maybe do not know yourself. Perhaps you do not understand your environment or maybe you're even in the wrong company. Perhaps also you do not know your role in your environment and you are yet to discover the problems, the challenges where you need to solve, you know, and then the challenges that you need to overcome. So let's expose ourselves to the truth for once. We are going to have this bitter truth for breakfast, depending where you're watching from, for lunch or for dinner. One of those guys in the Bible, Prophet Ezekiel, that's what they called him. He came into the world and he was a prophet. Folks called him prophet. He even answered to the name prophet. But I'm not sure he was a prophet at the time he was answering to that name. My guy roamed from toilet walk to um, business to politics to, and he didn't prophesy. There were dried bones in a valley. My brother did not see those dried bones. Neither did he even attempt to prophesy to the dry bones. It took God who was waiting on him to call his attention to the fact that there was a problem he was to solve in his community. Took him to that valley and asked him, Ezekiel, they call you a prophet. Have you seen this valley of dry bones? What do you think of the dry bones? My guy said, you know. How can a prophet see a problem that needs prophecy and he does not know that he can prophesy or he should be the one to prophesy? So he, he took God to tell him that, okay, since you do not know what to do, try, dare to breathe onto the bones. Immediately he did it. Bible says the wind blew. There was a great wind. That's what the Bible said in the valley. So maybe you've been trying to do something and the minute you dared to do that thing, oh, some wind, uh, you know, came and then the dust was raised. You now give up. <laughs> Calm down. When you're trying something for the first time, it is very right for the dust to rise for the wind to blow, for you to be confused, for you to be challenged, for you to be afraid. But you know what? Keep your calm. That is the process. So after that, he was told again. He noted that he was challenged. So while in your journey, please try to note the things that you encounter, the challenges and the hurdles that you have to overcome while you're trying to fly. So he noted that, yeah, he had some challenges. He continued. He persisted. That is the attitude of anyone who dares to fly. You have to come with an attitude of consistency. He breathed again onto the bones. The sinews came. 
and continuously he kept breathing and kept breathing onto the bones until the flesh came together and the bones stood up and walked. This was in a society where he did not know what to do, where he had not even discovered himself. Yes, you might be answering, answering to the name a scientist, oh, young innovator, and then we are suffering from uh, the lack of light, uh, electricity light, yes, power, good wa uh, drinking water, um, and all of those uh, vices and challenges that we're encountering in our society today, yet you're the young scientist that you've claimed to be. Are you sure? Why haven't you done something? Why haven't you dared to fly? So if you do not owe bonking anything, I have come to charge you. I am bringing the wings that you need beneath those wings. Please dare to do something. Dare to fly. Let us honor the memory of our mentor and our motivator by daring to fly. Think about it. If you're in the wrong company, what becomes of your wings? You will definitely spot a black bird in the midst of white dogs. That you have feathers does not mean that you can fly. If you belong with the dogs and you're an eagle, you're challenging that environment. You will keep complaining. They don't treat me right. They don't know who I am. They do not respect me. They don't give you opportunities. There's no opportunity in water for an eagle who is supposed to be in the sky. So that is the wrong place to seek opportunity. Do not be comfortable in the midst of people that you don't belong with. It's okay not to feel okay. Just sometimes, you know. So if you find that you are in the midst of people, you're in the wrong company, please excuse yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. Think about it. If you're an eagle and you're in the midst of dogs, you're frustrating the dogs themselves. So if you left them, they would be able to do the things that they think they can do because you're bringing the spirit of excellence to mediocrity. How about you? Trying, daring to change location to places where you will be challenged. Somebody called Ezekiel and directed him. You need a mentor. And then he got there and asked him a question. You need a coach. You need somebody to ask you the right questions as you dare to fly. You need somebody to show you what to do as you dare to fly. So what is it we are waiting for? Remember, Ubong did so much, but there's now a vacancy. Can you feel it? Are you willing, are you ready to motivate and mentor others? Do not waste the fortune of ever knowing such a guy. I know you're a great guy, so I look forward to all the things that you bring to the world. I'll be cheering for you from this end. So with love in my heart, I wish you all the best as you dare to fly. Thank you and God bless you.